fishing hole Grab your hat, get your pole Let's go fishing When you're in the mood Canadian Sport Fishing Brought to you in part by Rapala Premium fishing gear crafted from experience Ducket Fishing Pro Driven Raymarine Electronics Raymarine Simply Superior Pro Sports Boats Tame the water. It's about my third cast with my ultralight. See what I've got here. It's fighting pretty good. I'm targeting panfish. I don't know if this is, oh boy, it's a pike. That's not what I'm looking for. And it ate my little crankbait. So, oh no, there it is inside of the mouth. You know, I love fishing with an ultralight. This is the ducket. It's the crappy slayer. And that ain't no crappy. It's a pike. So let's see here if I can handle it really carefully. You know, this isn't a monster pike. But when you uh, use an ultralight, it is so much fun. Like that. See if I can get his mouth open. I should have brought a spreader. Yeah, he's got that hook right in the side of the mouth. So hold on. Come here. I think I'm gonna have to put my hand, slide my finger underneath the gill plate. Now he's rolled up in the line. So this is the beauty of ultralight fishing. Come here. So I gotta go like this. He won't thrash. Uh, just underneath the gill plate because they have sharp gill rakers. So that's going to work a little bit better. And so sure, you got to take your time. Actually, I'm glad I brought these uh, thinner, longer pliers. Oh no, come on. Let's see if I can get that. Because he's got that front hook and it kind of flipped around. Not a good idea here. I'm trying not to hurt him. And I almost got it out. Just these hooks are tacky sharp for being small. There. And Look at, isn't that a nice pike to get on an ultralight? You could fillet it, but that one's going back. Now, this is the little crankbait I was using right here. I've got some pike slime on it. I'm going to tell you about all the different crankbaits I'm using a little bit later. But look at how tiny this crankbait is. Isn't that beautiful? Just in the palm of my hand. This particular one is the Shadow Wrap solid shad five centimeters excellent lure to fish for ultralights um, for a different species of fish so I'm gonna keep this on for a few more casts and then I'll try something else look at the nice action on this husky jerk it's gonna to toss it in a couple times here this is the little one the ultralight that I've been uh, trying I love to fish for all different kinds of fish and one thing that I'd love to do, especially in the spring, is go shore fishing and using an ultralight, like I've got right here. You know, normally I go for crappie, and this is the crappy slayer rod from Ducket. It's about five and a half feet long. And I've got it loaded with a very light braided line. That line is uh, fluorescent green, you could say. It's very bright colored. And what I've got is I've attached a leader. I've got about a 24 inch fluorocarbon leader. And then I've been using these small lures. So this is the smallest husky jerk that they make. The reason I like to use the little husky jerk is, I don't know if you can see, there's actually uh, beads inside because this one is clear see-through. It's made out of plastic, so it casts a little bit farther than the original Rapella, and it seems to be just the right size for those small panfish. So one of the things that I try to do, because when you're casting from shore, it's easy to get stuck on the bottom. So when I cast out and retrieve, if uh, I feel a weight on, I don't set the hook right away. So normally I just reel a little bit faster because sometimes if you set the hook, if there's wood on the bottom, 
uh, you're going to get your lure caught on there. And I don't like losing lures. So and if it's a fish, your rod will start to go. But I found that using an ultralight like this, cast far, it's so much fun when you get a fish on. And the fish are such good eating. Let's see what this is. Hit pretty hard. Hopefully it's not a pike. But it could be. It's another pike. That's okay. Nice jump. Beautiful. Yay, he's not hooked deep. I don't know if he's fought out. I'm going to try to keep him in the water, see if he'll throw that hook. Come here. Are you done? Nope. A fish that deserves respect. Especially if you've got a lure with a couple of trebles on it. This guy wasn't hooked too bad. Look at it. Beautiful pike to get with light gear like this and using, uh, you know, small crankbaits, body baits. Look at He's going to take off in a second here. There he goes. Feels like a white perch. It, it, oh, it's a yellow perch. That's okay. They're good eating too. This is fun, you know, just casting from shore. And uh, look at, isn't that a nice perch? Some weeds on there. Look at, gorgeous. Just gonna get the hooks out. I want the white ones, even though that's a pretty well an eating size fish. Especially if you cut the head off and scale it. There, beautiful. When I shore fish for panfish early in the year, I don't carry a lot of gear. I have a backpack on my back that I keep my cameras in and um, some very light tackle. Here's my main tackle box. So I want to show you how small this is. I can cover it up with my hand, no problem. But look what's inside. Lots of little treasures. So I use just uh, micro, I'll call them micro crankbaits, small spinners and so on. And uh, this is one of my favorite. It's the really small minnow that Rapala makes. Works really well for trout, but it also works good for panfish, like bluegill, uh, white perch, which I love. I was actually trying to get those today, and also crappy. Um, the first lure that I started casting today is this one right here. It's that BMX minnow. And you can see that it's pretty small. If I put my, my trigger finger up to it, you know, it's only about, uh, I'm going to say, an inch and a half long. But that color is really bright and ended up getting, uh, I think, a nice perch and my first pike. And then I caught a couple of pike using uh, some of the small husky jerks. But I never leave home without this. This is a Vibrex spinner. It's a number one. Works great for trout. Works great for panfish. So the only thing I try to be careful is, you know, if I'm fishing from shore, it's so easy to get caught. So I cast pretty far, as far as I can with my ultralight. And uh, depending what lure I use, the ultralight minnow and uh, the BX minnow, actually the ultralight minnow floats and the husky jerk floats it actually suspends really slow so they're perfect lures if you're fishing in shallow water the bmx minnow actually sinks so you got to be really careful because if you pause it can go down to the bottom and you can get stuck and of course the spinner you can use like the countdown method where um, you can count it drops about a foot a second so if you're only fishing in four feet of water maybe count to one two and then give your rod tip a snap and start reeling it in you know if you're looking for something to do and you only have like half an hour an hour uh, going for panfish is a lot of fun. And in my case, I ended up getting more pike than anything else. But that's okay. They're fun too. Nice. Wow. Wasn't expecting all these pike this morning. But this is nice for shore fishing. Just casting lures. This guy is a little bit bigger. Maybe that's why the panfish aren't hanging around here. Just got that one nice perch. Look at you. Good. You're not hooked too bad. They're gorgeous fish. What is I'm trying to let him jump and do his thing? I don't want to get those hooks near my hands when he's head shaking or trying to make a jump out of my hand. Can I get him? Good. Oh. I'll tell you, even small pike to me are fun to catch. I think they're beautiful. 
lot of guys don't like pike. I even like eating pike. Just got to clean them properly. Now, okay, there's the hook right there. There we go. Get that line out of his mouth. Come on, come on. There. Let's have a nice look at this guy. It's going to put my pliers away before he flies out of my hand. You know, when you're shore fishing, you have to have everything with you. I've got a backpack on me. I didn't bring a net because I can land the fish pretty well on shore. Look at, isn't that a nice pike? And they shouldn't take long to take off. I won't be surprised if he splashes me to get on an ultralight. I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun.